Final call is Brian out of California. Brian, welcome. Are you there? Hey, what's up? So welcome. You're uh, on with Forrest Yalkai and his father, Seth Andrews. What's up? How dare you? I I have I have actually gotten people to say to Hold me on. out of context that you are my son. I've been saying it for so long that I have started. I'm that close to making it a meme, and you're gonna try to take it away from me. I thought we Why were friends. Would I be your son. <laughs> I mean, look at me. I mean, I, <laughs> I literally look so like you fun. have you're That's young, funny. you're fresh faced, you have all your hair. I looked like the guy at the end of Indiana Jones three when he drank from the wrong grail and his whole face disintegrated. Why would I be the son? It seems oh to me. Lord. That's what makes it so funny. And I also, I can't even get a word in. in my forehead. This is insane. <laughs> Uh, hold on, Brian. We'll get to you in a second. My son and happy I are having a Father's conversation Day. right now. No, Happy Father's Day! I just found out that this is no cap. I just found out like ten minutes ago that I'm gonna have a grand a grandson. I already oh, have man. a granddaughter, but yeah, like two weeks ago, she called me and she said I'm pregnant. Right? So I mean, mm -hmm. I but then she just called me on Father's Day. She's like, "You want to know what it's gonna be?" And I'm like, "No, I already know." <laughs> well, congratulations! <laughs> and she's like, "Oh yeah, you know." No, so as as a scientist, you know, as fellow scientists, I just want to say, Forrest. Things happen randomly, right? So you might be a father. <laughs> Unlikely, but like, who knows? <laughs> no, you did, like, don't ever say never, bro. Cause this is my argument. I'm going to use a bunch of an analogies and metaphors, right? Don't no, ask no, me. I, to, I would actually prefer you speak more I'm literally. not smart enough. What's your point? Right. Brian, um, what, what comment or question okay. would you like to make? I'm a momentum guy. Let's go. What's on your mind? Okay, so basically, Blockbuster, Seth will get this, you might not get this. When you go into a Blockbuster, it says, be kind, rewind, right? So that's all you have to do. If, as scientists, all we have to do is just remember that the universe is expanding. So if it's expanding, just rewind that all the way to not the Big Bang, but Basically, God is a child blowing a bubble, watching it pop. So I the would issue love is to... re rewinding the universe and seeing what came back. That's how we came up with like Hubble's law. That's that's how we know about what the Big Bang is in the first place. Um, and we didn't find any reason for a God to be there. We didn't find any evidence of a God there. Um, we didn't find any reason to, to assume that there was such a thing as a God there. Um, that's literally, we, we, it was you know, back in the early 1900s, um, we, we discovered the recession rate of galaxies. And then Hubble came up with Hubble's law showing that the farther those galaxies are away from each other, the faster they're expanding. Um, and using the, Hubble's the constants and some basic algebra, we were able to come up with the date no. of the, the, the time frame of the universe. Right. And the closest thing that I can explain it to be is just free will. We've come up with a word for it. It's called free will. It's a child blowing a bubble, watching it pop. Not How trying is to the pop expansion it, of the universe? Just watching free it will. pop. God gave us free will. That means he just blew a bubble and let it go. He how, let it right, go. God exists. How do we know? How do we know this God gave us free will or that this God exists at all? Because if you reverse the universe, you become nothing. Nothing. God is basically really? nothing. It, it. Oh, my Lord. It's so simple. I just want to simplify it. I, God does not simplify care about it. you. I like that. No, simplify it. Talk to us as if you would uh, you were talking to a child. Monosyllables. Use your hands. Spell it out for us. Well, I mean, you can try to make me sound stupid, dude. It's fine. I'm just not trying to simplify it.
because it's not even about big words. It's You're just, the one who said it was so simple. God I'm asking exists. you to give it to us in simple terms. God exists. It's a That's boy a in a bubble. R- That's right. a claim. How, it's a we, boy we, in a we, bubble we start, just watching the bubble. Just, you said God exists and then did these things. So before we address the things that God did, first, I don't think God exists. So how do we know whether or not God exists? He doesn't even have control of us. He just sends us out oh, and okay. we're a bubble. He God, sends out a million God bubbles. Have, and then just all God that. doesn't have control of us. I don't have a reason, Brian. 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 Brian, I have no reason to argue with you whether or not God has control of us or whether God blows bubbles or whether God does any of these things if I don't know if God (laughs) exists. See? So I can sit here and tell you, listen, gnomes, they make cotton candy. And the cotton candy that the gnomes make, they weave together the universe with all these. Before you start arguing with me about whether or not cotton candy can hold a galaxy together, we need to establish if the gnomes are real, right? So it's the same thing with this God. Before we talk about free will and bubbles and whatever the fuck else, is God real? And how do you know? This is why I called in. I didn't call in to convince you. I Excellent. Being, so you can convince me why not, bro. Because you have no good reason to believe that that is the case. I'm not saying God doesn't no, exist. I'm saying there's no reason to believe that he does. Yeah, but if you put the universe in in rewind, then the, why is there no reason to believe he doesn't? I mean... Seriously. Because you it. don't just you don't just assume things do exist just because there's no reason not to. That's not how science, logic, or thinking works. You need a reason to believe something does exist before you believe it does exist. There's no evidence that points to a god. So why should I believe a god exists? Say hi to my girlfriend. Hello. Sorry? Yeah. You just came home. I'm out. Seriously, <laughs> just think about it. You, I just want to be clear. Oh, you waited on. Oh, you waited on hold for over an hour. You waited on hold for over an hour, and the actual <laughs> argument you had was, "Well, why doesn't God not exist?" <laughs> we know. That he was there and he didn't give a shit, so he started the universe and then he blew it up like a bubble. <laughs> that's and that's called free will. And that's or free something. will. He's doing yeah. some kind of a weird riff on the prime mover watchmaker first cause argument that the universe couldn't have started by itself. And this is a whole other conversation about the you know what came before was there even a before because time didn't exist before space time i had this conversation with astrophysicist dr dan Batcheldorf, who has uh, written a book called astronomy saves the world and he's done a lot of science education out there but there's this idea that where did it all come from it's so vast it's mm-hmm. so complex and even if god doesn't care what goes on and doesn't interfere or meddle or show interest in our everyday lives the minutia of who we are and who we marry and what's going on blah 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 we do know that there was a god who exists and here's what his attributes are and it's interesting that it's he said he so he just assumed it was a yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Not, it's always not a guy. some creature, not a she, not something else. No, it had to be a man. It had to be like, uh, the, you know, the, the big he man bearded God is the one that always pops into my brain. So I don't know. What do you do with the first cause argument? Something started at all, damn it. And that's proof of God. Right. I I would just ask, number one, you now have the issue of infinite regression. Everything has to come from somewhere. And therefore, there's this God. OK, where does God come from? And inevitably, as we saw in this show, you get to a special pleading argument. Well, God doesn't have to be created by anything. Okay, now I can say the universe doesn't have to be created by anything, and it means the same nothing, because we're both making claims we have no fucking evidence for. And then it always goes into, well, nothing can't create, blah, blah, blah. What is nothing? 
I don't know what nothing means. I've never seen a nothing. I've never done tests on a nothing. I don't have any samples of nothing. What the fuck is nothing? And we don't know what nothing can or can't do. You can try to logic your way through it, but at the end of the day, you don't you don't know what you're talking about because what you're talking about doesn't exist. Um, and then you get to this idea of, well, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you you have to have something that started this, and so I'm gonna fill in the blanks. Okay. Even if I agreed with you that the universe had some sort of cause, why is it a who and not a what? Why do you know the fucker's name? Like, and why does the guy care about where I put my penis? What's going on with this thing that made the universe no, no. billions no, no. and billions of galaxies with billions and billions of stars and billions and billions of planets between them, also on this one single planet and this one single star system out of millions and millions of species out of so many different primates. There could be one species of mostly hairless great ape that has anxiety and 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 bad credit. And that motherfucker right there is the reason for all of this and he better not masturbate what the fuck is that well what's going I, on i think the first the first cause deity though the watchmaker deity doesn't involve itself right i mean that it doesn't care what you do with your erectile tissue you know with your giblets mm -hmm. uh but uh, but i i i don't know that i don't know there's so many they, they automatically ascribe personality agency usually a proper name to whatever yeah. happened, you know, at the moment of the singularity. And it just blows my mind. And the chat seems convinced Brian was actually totally full of shit. And his girlfriend was Brian uh, raising his voice an octave to sound supposedly like someone else. I'm not, I don't know whether or not so he was an attention seeker. Yeah. Very, uh... <laughs> hey, do you think this clip just fell out of a coconut tree? No, it did. I, Okay, now technically I did build the channel into a coconut tree and it did fall out. And also that our internet router is up there. Actually, in a lot of ways, this actually, this production fell out of a coconut tree, but we could only afford that because people like you supported us for $5 a month over where is that, Eric? Uh, Patreon.com slash call the line. And that's right. Jimmy will you got it. Yeah, be grateful. Yeah. We have an exclusive patron podcast over there. Check it out. Thumbs up with it, Eric. We talked about this in the meeting. We have to both. Oh, yeah. Up. I'm sorry. Okay, there we go.